being said, let me speak on community. <clears throat> I probably don't know, I mean really, really like in here, know any more than any of you why we're here. We received a call or an email that said, come. It happened to be somebody from somebody we deeply respect, so we came to hear, to listen, to share our ideas of community. When we're young and in the sandbox, the community extends as far as the sand goes and there are those who will reach outside the box and put it in their mouth. But that's the limit of our community. We get to middle school and our community may be a <clears throat> t-ball team. Or our sixth grade class. In high school, we had football, drama, our circles, our cliques. In all of those communities, the common factor has been you, and you, and you, and me. We've reached a time where the community is bigger than this room, it's bigger than this city. In truth, were I to go to Afghanistan, or Iraq, or North Korea, the faces I saw would be my brothers, my sisters, my friends, my loved ones. There will be no time when you leave this planet except perhaps to dig your body into it. This place, this beautiful blue earth is our home. There are no walls there, perhaps forests and lakes, and streams, and oceans. The planet is a single, whole family. And everyone is my brother, everyone is my sister, everyone is my mother, everyone is my lover. This is not where the world ends. I have an eye that sees many things. It sees the limbs above my head. It sees the flowers. And that is not where my feet end. If we could, as poets and human beings, open our hands and let everyone see who we are. What a beautiful world it can be. What a beautiful world. That's on the heavier side. Now let me try to do something <laughs> <on the heavier laughs> <side. laughs>